Hey, good morning. Yeah, so what we know right now is that July 1st is when this state law takes effect. So here we are in the news car. I'm gonna turn this song on too. All right, it's a little loud here, but let's see how far we can hear it from this. Now we just measured this out with a tape measure. Turns out in the last half hour, we were exactly right. We were about 25 feet away, goes to about right here. Now within this distance, right now we can't really hear the radio anymore, but if we could, I could be getting in trouble starting July 1st, could get a ticket for it. Now. I could get a non-criminal traffic infraction. That's what people will be able to start getting. JSO says that they will start enforcing this. And hundreds of people have been talking about it, especially on social media. Some worry it gives an excuse to an officer who wants to pull someone over for the wrong reason, or that officers will be wasting their time on this. Others say they're glad this will be enforced, calling music heard out of cars and motorcycles from far away a nuisance. So here are several comments from our First Coast News Facebook page, which has more than 400 people talking about this. One person stating this will definitely be something that is abused by law enforcement. It is too easy to say volume of their music violated this law, so I had to cause to pull them over. That's a quote. Another person is glad this law will be enforced, stating, quote, this should stop the goofy fad of putting speakers outside the vehicle. I don't care how loud your music you listen to your music in your car, but no one signed up for an outdoor concert on bad speakers. So if you're thinking how far is 25 feet, the distance that you have to be far away for them not to be able to hear your music, we have a whole list of different ways that you can measure it. One of them, for instance, is five park benches. We have all that on firstcoastnews.com. You can get involved in the conversation as well on our Facebook and Twitter pages. Renata Di Gregorio, live in Jacksonville. Back to you guys. And it is turning into quite a spirited conversation. Again, just check out the First Coast News Facebook page. Thanks.